So let me go on ahead and bring our cocktail station forward. Forward. Backward. Forward. All right. <laughs> So this is the pretty little Pinterest photo of what the gimlet is supposed to look like. This is the closest thing I have to that sort of, you know, chalice situation. So we're going to use this. And again, the ingredients are very simple. It calls for two and a half ounces of gin, three fourth ounce simple syrup, and three fourth ounce of lime juice. Ice for shaking, lime zest, and a wheel for garnish. So I got all the goodies here prepped out for you all. So we are going to make a gimlet. All right, let me go on ahead right here. Okay, so I love to use fresh ingredients as fresh as I possibly can use. So I do have a nice and juicy lime. Ooh. And I made my own simple syrup. Literally, simple syrup is so simple. It's just sugar, water, and you let it just like thicken up. So you don't have to like go to the store and spend five dollars on a tiny container of simple syrup when you could literally go spend like two dollars, get white sugar or get brown sugar for a little bit more, and make your own simple syrup. And you can make your own infused simple syrup. You can make like lavender simple syrup. You can make maybe a lime infused simple syrup like this calls for. I didn't do that ahead of time, but obviously I'm letting you know now you can do that on your own time. So I'm going to go ahead. This calls for three fourths ounce. Um, so right now I'm using one third. Um, yeah, this is about like a third of an ounce. Lovely background music, of course. Okay. And I'm just going to put the ice cubes in here. And every time I come and I show you all my ice cubes, I always have to say it's the leaf motif. All right. So tonight's flight won't be super long. I do have my friend here. So I can't, you know, be a rude hostess. But we're going to... So awesome live tonight with you all, okay? So I put my simple syrup, I put my ice in here. And just because I know, like, this slime is probably going to give me about a third cup worth of liquid. So give me a second. Let me actually get my squeezer thingy. Okay. How is everyone doing tonight? I'm so excited to be here. You know, I love my Friday night lives with y'all. My little family from the internet. My salty peeps. My cookie fam. The one good thing I can say about this week, I'm not sure if I would equate it as good, but... The one nice thing is that the weather was not excruciatingly painful. Because <laughs> remember how last week I was struggling last week, struggling to film because I needed like to turn my fan off for like a hot second. And that hot second was really hot. It was like a boiling second. So at least this week it's been on the cooler, colder side, which, you know, is a plus but i need the heat to come back because you know i love summer i will take this weather any day of the year of the week of the month of the century over a cold wintry day i hate the winter it's too cold i'm not i'm not a fan of like city winters especially new york city winters because at least for us it's more slushy it's brown it's gross and you can't really enjoy it. And also, I honestly, like, after I turn 25, I always say this, after I turn 25, I my whole body chemistry just shifted. 
when I was in like undergrad or when I was in like middle school, high school, I used to love winter, but that was mostly because for us, winter meant school off, you know, days off from school. But as an adult, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> like you're an adult, you have to go to work. Oh, what the trains aren't working, figure it out. Like you, you have to adult. But like as a kid, we would sit down and watch the news and the news would let us know that, oh, your school is closed. And it was just like the most jubilious situation. And now, especially with like kids, because there's like what you can do hybrid schooling. So I don't even know if kids who have to take off for like winter days, if they end up converting it to some sort of like online classing. So I'm just happy I was born when I was born. I'm happy I wasn't born like a century before during Prohibition era. And I'm just happy I'm not born now with Gen Z because life is so different. And I love my upbringing. I love the freedom that we had, but you know, gone are those days. I'm just eyeballing about two and a half ounces of gin. I see comments. I'm going to read them. I'm a little far from the screen, but let me just finish doing my little shaky shake. And then I'm going to get to the commentary. So again, Gimlet, very simple. All you need, simple syrup, lime, gin, ice to shake. And you can see the separation between like the simple syrup because it's thicker and the lime juice, which is lighter. So it floats to the top. <laughs> okay, I should have probably did this like before, but just for aesthetics, I'm going to do my best to try to get myself a little wheel. A little wheel of lamb. Okay, this is just for, for looks, okay? I'll put it on the top, actually. And yeah, we're done our gimlet. Okay. Shazza. Shazam. Wow. Et voila! We have a gimlet! Added more gin into mine because I needed more gin in mine. Very ginny. It tastes just like gin and gimlet. It's not super sweet. It's tart enough. Delicious. Gimlet was a success. And let us take away our drink station. <laughs> 